Chris just had a um, an attack that he has not had before, and I thought he just died. <laughs> Didn't we? Or passed out. Or passed out. But then like whenever, sometimes. yeah, but whenever he passed out, I did the um, tune in Tokyo twist the nipple test. Because <laughs> if he was joking, that would he would have had some sort of reaction. That was the only thing I could think of. The time honored, <laughs> the time honored test to make sure somebody's not <laughs> dead. Yes. Yeah, so now that I have stopped crying, and I might start whenever we talk about it, but. Um, he literally started all of a sudden like coughing like he was choking on his saliva. Nothing big deal, we didn't think. All of a sudden he's coughing and the next thing I know he's sitting here in the car beside me. Luckily we were in the parking lot um, talking and hadn't started driving yet. Um, but he all of a sudden went limp. Phone fell out of his hands. Head went back. Total limp. Um, so I start hollering at him, Chris, are you joking? Are you okay? No response, so I do the nipple twist, turn in Tokyo, tune in Tokyo test. Um, no response, I start yelling, start trying to ask him if he's joking, are you okay, or you, you know, um, no response, about 30 seconds or so later, 30, 45 seconds later, which seemed like eternity, but it was probably only about that long, um, he came back too. The strange thing is, he said that he could feel it, and he was screaming, tell me to stop, inside his head, that he was hearing everything, that I was hollering and screaming and asking him, um, that he was aware of everything, but yet his body was totally limp. Um, he won't let me take him to the emergency room. I don't think, I mean, everything that I'm reading on... So I can hear you. Everything I'm reading is what it sounds like is a drop attack. I don't know if it is or not, but that's what it sounds like. I was fully conscious. I just could not move. I just, I was awake. But your eyes were closed? But everything was closed. My eyes were closed. Because... I couldn't move, couldn't talk, couldn't do anything. That being said, I was fortunate enough, I was sitting down. I have incredible pain in my head now. Feels like my ears are pushing out the side of my head. Worse than normal. It's, going, it's getting to the point of starting to migraine starting to really come in play um, we uh, haven't done a update for the day yet we're gonna we, we we've been at home most of the day we ran out a little bit early to, or late this afternoon to just run to one store to pick up his comics my comics his and Kaylee's comic books um, and then we were going to come home, do an update on how the, the day treated me. Um, and we'll do that whenever we get home. Um, but, but we've, uh, it's kind of just been a, he's been really tired. Yeah. And it's just kind of been a lazy Saturday at home. Um, so, but Lisa wanted to quickly document this real quick. Yeah, we've never had this happen. He had one day, which he didn't tell me. You were there. Yes, but you didn't tell me how you felt. I just thought it was your normal stumble and you fell down. Because he stumbles and he falls down. <laughs> but no, he said that it was similar to the feeling of this and that his body just dropped. Um, yeah. I, I've also had... Instances. Tell your wife things. <laughs> I've also had instances in... Even before my vestibular, you know, my, uh, uh, the onset of my vestibular issues where, um, I would lose strength in my hands and drop things. So, not sure 
I've, we've talked, we've actually told all of my doctors this, and they've just kind of brushed it off. Not really sure if that's relevant to anything. Um, it might be now, though. Might, might be. Uh, I don't know. But we've heard um, from other people with vestibular no. issues. Huh? I don't know. I know you don't know. We don't know. We're learning as we go. But on a Facebook group of other vestibular lovelies that have this kind of stuff, they've mentioned the drop attacks, and it's a type of seizure. Um, so... If y'all, anybody out there has them, has, has any advice, has any good articles on them, post them in the comments. Um, and by the way, sorry if this is a little shaky, I'm hand holding it and I yeah. don't have the steadiest hands. Um, we always look for more resources. As we go on, one of my plans for the for our website, if you haven't checked it out, is to have a resources section for all the resources that we gather for vestibular um, items. Because uh, it's hard to research and hard to find stuff on it. It is. I mean, the best. I mean, of course, the best one that I've ever come across is the VDA website, vestibular.org. I mean, they're they're the greatest, um, but. If you come across any other articles or anything else that that might be of of use or benefit, you know, we can always add other things there uh, to our site and point in directions as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, if you have any advice, even <laughs> yeah. always, please feel free to call. Matt. we we you know appreciate any information. Yeah, we're we're just trying to live life to their fullest and you know we're we're here living life just trying to enjoy it as much as we can and show how we're living our life so yeah we don't want don't want him to be, feel like he has to be stuck in the house and you know in the house like in a little bubble totally afraid of falling or getting out and you know we want him to be able to enjoy life and we might have to do things a little bit differently or a little bit slower, but yeah. So anyway, just wanted to update you about that scary thing, scary new thing that just happened. So anyway. Just wanted to do a quick wrap up uh, for today. Um, it's a real lucky day. Um, like I said earlier, didn't do a whole heck of a lot. Um, it's okay. Just real tired. Um, other than the possibility of the new symptom. Um, that's, uh, that's the only thing that's it was really out of the ordinary. Um, everything else seemed to be, I'll say, or, normal or my new normal. Um, that was really the only thing that was really stand out for the day. Um, everything else seemed to be pretty on par with with my days here recently. Um, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that, do some more research on that. Um, so, I guess that's something I'm going to have to keep more keep a closer eye on. Um, so, I guess that's some more fun than to look forward to. Uh, tomorrow will be... Probably another pretty low key day. Um, not really sure what we've got going on. Probably not much. Uh, maybe take a day off. Not real sure. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, that's Saturday for you. Have a good one.